Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Claudia's Lovely Nails. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. During this COVID situation, I haven't paid much attention to my toenails, but today we're going to change that. And I'm going to relax and try to make my toenails pretty. First off, we're going in with a milk bath. Obviously, we're going to need some liquid, so let's pour some warm liquid in there. Then some coconut milk. I purchased a canned coconut milk. Now that I think about it, I never really seen actual coconuts at the grocery stores. Hmm. So the benefits are that it nourishes and softens your skin, but I think it makes the milk bath aesthetically pleasing. Then I'm adding eucalyptus. I can't pronounce that. Epsom salt. Its purpose is to relieve sore feet, but I really enjoy it because it takes all your stress away and it provides a relaxation feeling and a sense of harmony to the body and mind. So it's very stress relieving. So now you can't forget about a natural oil. I'm using Argan oil, my favorite. It's my absolute favorite. It smells just so good and it adds moisturization. Now flowers don't just make the bath visibly pretty, they take part in benefits too. It's just like adding natural oil. Of course, each flower holds its own benefits. Guys, I'm going to show you a little montage of my milk bath because I will admit I don't think I've ever created something so majestic. I guess you can tell I don't do this very often. <laughs> Now for the part I have been waiting for, putting my feet inside, it's so relaxing. I can just feel the coconut milk between my feet and toes and I'm just going to enjoy this rare occasion for about 20 minutes, inhale the nice aroma and just relax or until my feet get all pruny like and wrinkled. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this time that I have for myself, read up book, sip some tea, and close my eyes. Whoa, am I really rubbing lemon directly onto my feet? Yes. Yes, I am. So it removes dead skin cells and it reveals a fresher layer of skin underneath. Then I'm adding some olive oil. Again, it's to moisturize the skin. So I'm going to trap and make these two ingredients penetrate into my skin by creating like an um, incubation by wrapping saran wrap on both my feet and also adding some fuzzy wuzzy socks for 15 minutes. And what this is going to do is rejuvenate the skin and I'm almost ready to rock out my feet in sandals. So now you can tell my feet look much more rejuvenated with light and glow. But now what's left is fixing my nails. So I'm going to make sure I start with a clean free nail. So I'm going in with some acetone to remove any residue. Then I'm going to push back my cuticles to make the nail polish look clean. I'm going to try to, okay? I haven't stretched these muscles in a long time and I'm going to have to reach all the way down to my toes. Then I'm going to trim my falcon nails straight across. Then using this file, I'm going to fix the side and it's actually my first time using this type of file. I wanted to see what's its capabilities and it's actually a pretty good file. Then I'm going to use this white color to paint my nails. I love using color that make my toenails pop. If I happen to make any mistakes 
which is very likely, I will clean it with a brush that's been submerged in acetone. All right, so to add some life onto my nail, I'm going to add a design, some flowers. So using a dotting tool, I will make five dots using this pretty yellow color. And once it's semi-dry but not completely dry, you want to be able to create the petals by moving each dot towards the center, just like that. Then I'm going to add a gem in the middle and create three random small dots down the nail. And voila! I'm not done quite yet. To give it some shine and gloss, I'm going to be using a UV top coat. I find that the UV top coat is really thick and leaves a beautiful glossy finish once you've cured it. I love using a UV top coat even if I'm just using regular nail polish. Now I'm done. Now I can wear my sandals and walk or strut in confidence. Alright, so that comes in to the conclusion of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and until next time. You guys so much for watching and marbles. Don't you think that they should subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that they're notified when I post a new video? <laughs> you see guys, he agrees. Thanks again and stay tuned for my next video.